Okay, in the previous episode, we learned how to create this cool portal effect. And in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you not one, but two cool effects that you can add to your mixed reality game. First, how to mask part of a mesh, and then create this whole effect with a passing object. Now, you know the deal by now, you can support my work on Patreon to get access to the source code of this project, as well as some exclusive tutorial like this XR archery game that actually feature the whole effect as well. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in the previous episode, we made this awesome portal effect using a stencil shader and I'm going to show you the two new effects that you should use on all of your XR projects. So for the next effect, if you remember, and if we go to the URP high fidelity renderer that we edited in the previous episode, as you can see, we've created a stencil mask that override here the stencil value. But as you can see, the compare function is set to equal. So the question is, what should happen if we set it to not equal? And this is what I'm going to show you now. So first, I'm going to select this big 360 sphere that is being only showed right now through this cube. And I'm going to duplicate it with Ctrl D. We can disable the first one. And the second one, I'm going to rename it 360 Galaxy All. Beautiful. Now for the layer, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on Add Layer here. And rename it Stencil All 1. Beautiful. We can assign this new layer inside the 360 sphere that we duplicated. And as you can see now, it is disabled because if we go to the settings, URP high fidelity renderer, we can see that it is not present inside the opaque and transparent layer. So it means that it is not rendered right now, but we can render through a renderer feature by clicking on add renderer features, render object, and then let's rename it stencil whole one opaque. Beautiful. We can set the event to after rendering opaque. For the layer mask, let's set it to stencil hole. And our 360 galaxy hole appears now. But we can now do the same as we've done above, which is override the stencil value. So let's click here on stencil, set the value to one. And for the compare function, this is where things get interesting because we need to set it not to equal, but to not equal. And there you go. As you can see, because our cube has a material that has a stencil ID set to one, and because now inside this high fidelity renderer, we are actually displaying the stencil value when we are not equal, this means that we have successfully created a hole inside our 360 sphere using a stencil shader, and this really looks cool. Now, as you can see, we can actually use this quite easily and scale the cube as we want. Now, to give you kind of an example like we've done in the previous episode, we are here at the effect mesh. What I'm going to do is actually display this 360 galaxy all around the player, but create a hole on the floor of the player. This way, we will see the player floor from the path through, but the rest will be the 360 galaxy. And to do so, we can simply go on the effect mesh. And there for the label, let's set it first to nothing. And then we can set it to just floor. This way, this will only display the stencil mesh material in the floor. So we can now save. We can even disable our cube because we don't need it anymore. And then let's build our game to find out how this looks. And there you go. As you can see, the 360 sphere is rendered all around us, but we've created a hole in the floor, which means now that we can still see the path through in all of the floor of the player, but the rest is still the 360 image that we made. This really looks cool and you can actually use this effect not just on 360 image, but anything that you like. And you can even create a hole of all kind of shape, not just for the floor, but uh, to create any effect that you want. But now let's go back to Unity and have a look at our next effect. Okay, so our next effect is really my favorite. We are going to make this effect that you're watching right now with a ball that is passing through a hole that we cannot see inside the floor. Now, I've previously shown you how to make this effect on my Patreon with this exclusive tutorial where we build a mixed reality archery game together. But this effect was initially made using a stencil effect. And in this video, I'm going to show you an easier way which you can reproduce the same effect. Okay, so back to our project. I'm going to disable the 360 galaxy hole. And the first thing that we need to do is create a 3D sphere right there. We can scale it down to 20 centimeters on all axis, even remove the sphere collider. We can change its material to red by creating a new material called red. 
where we change here the base map to this color. We can now go back to the sphere and assign it this new material that we just created. Beautiful. And now just for fun, I'm going to create an animation on this sphere to move it up or down. If we click over there, then to add tab and then to animation, this should open the animation panel. You can click then on create and call this one sphere bounce. Beautiful. I'm going to click here to start recording. And what we can do is actually place the sphere somewhere over there. There we can go a bit later, like let's say two seconds and then put the sphere down on the ground. And then we can copy this key and place them over there so that we will loop through this animation. And there you go. As you can see, this seems to work great. We have created an animation of a bouncing sphere. But of course, right now, look at what's happening. Unfortunately, the sphere is going through a real ground. And of course, yeah, the path through isn't hiding the sphere. So let's see how we can fix this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a hole that the uh, sphere will be able to path through. In my project, I have this cylinder that I've actually created inside Blender. And this cylinder, if I drag it inside the scene, you can see it is very, very basic. What I just did is separate the top from the rest of the cylinder so that I can just disable it like this. And this way we can see a cylinder from everywhere, but except from the top, which is what we want because this is where the ball should come out. Now, by the way, I will put this 3D model in the description down below. But now we need to place this cylinder that has no top where the sphere is going. So let me copy this position, paste it over there. We can scale down the cylinder like this and put it like this. Now the cylinder top position is supposed to be at the ground. So what we can use as a reference is here, the controller or the VR headset, which you can find here. And this is supposed to be your ground value. So I'm going to simply drag here the cylinder like this, which should be approximately the ground position. Now, if we go back to our sphere and that we play the animation, we can see that the sphere is going inside here, the hole. But the issue right now is that it's not the outside of the hole that we want to display. It is the inside. So for this, let's right click, create a new material, which I will call simply hole. We can drag it inside our cylinder right there. And for this render face, we can set it to back. There you go. As you can see now, only the inside of this cylinder is showing, but this is not really visible. So I'm going to go here and select the default shaker gray as a texture. We can maybe increase here the tiling on the X and on the Y axis. Beautiful. Now that we can see the inside of the cylinder, this is where the magic will happen. Because right now we have, of course, a big problem. And this problem is that all of the part that is below the ground should not be visible. So the cylinder that we have here and the ball going inside should be not visible. And here is the trick. I'm going to select our cylinder top and duplicate it by pressing on Ctrl D. And I'm going to call it Cylinder Depth Mask. So right now, if we create a new material, beautiful, that we can call Depth Mask and that we go inside the other and drag this material. As you can see, if we select our sphere again, but of course there is one big issue is that this white part, which is from the cylinder depth mask, should not be visible. Instead of being white here, it should completely be invisible and mask everything that is behind it. But the big question is how can we make an object be transparent, so not visible, but hide object behind it. And this is what a depth mask is. Now I've actually have a depth mask shader over there on this project. Now, as you can see, this shader is very, 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 very simple. And its job is actually to just be invisible, but hide the object that are behind it. So if we select our cylinder and for the depth mask, if we simply set it to the depth mask shader that we have, this should fix the issue and hide everything that is behind this object. And this should create our beautiful sphere going through a whole effect. But right now, as you can see, uh, inside the Unity editor, this looks really, really bad, but it will work when we build the game, I promise. So the only thing that is missing is to build and run to find out. 
This is definitely my favorite effect, it is so cool. But of course, you can use the depth mask for more than this, in any case that you want to hide a mesh behind another, for example. The difference with a stencil is that there with the depth mask, you actually know if an object is in front or behind. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. A big shout out to my new patrons, which are appearing on the screen right now. Thank you for watching, and see you very soon, bye bye.